Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, if you guys saw the new uh, Thunderbolt footage released, like the new trailer, I'm still waiting for the official trailer to come out. They haven't revealed when it's gonna come out, but if you guys have seen it, I have some thoughts. Now, I don't, <clears throat> I don't know too much about the uh, Thunderbolts in the comics. I know that I, I think um, Thunderbolt Ross uh, forms them, but I think in this movie, they're gonna form themselves, and what I mean by that is that I think, I think since since in the in the footage, they obviously show that they've been assigned a mission, but that the mission has gone south, and they all meet up, but they're not on the same mission. They all meet up, and they're like, "Why are you here? Why are you here?" And they, they try killing each other. We see in the in the footage that they're trying to kill each other. John Walker, you know, for a moment. You know, John Walker comes in, he tries to kill um, Yelena, and then Taskmaster appears and beats up US Agent, and, well, I'm not gonna go, okay, instead, instead of going everything that happens with the trailer, let's, I'm just gonna talk about it, so what did they do to <coughs> Taskmaster? And the ghost. Cause boy do they look like a downgrade. Like like even in the, like even then, like I feel like Taskmaster was already kinda downgraded in Black Widow. Like I don't care that she's a woman, but I we got a completely different character that isn't even a Taskmaster we know from the comics. And she was more of like um she was more of like a, a tool than like her own person. But did they, I feel like they gra downgraded their her costume in this movie. Now, I don't know if if it's like a, another costume she wears in the comics or if it's like a reference to something else. <coughs> but they did the same thing to like Ghost from, from um, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, we haven't seen, we haven't seen Ghost since Ant-Man and the Wasp. And it, in the MCU timeline, it's been like 10 years since that movie. So, I don't know what she's been up to, or why they haven't brought her character in sooner. It's nice to see her again. And, uh, anyways, they're fighting. And, uh, then out of nowhere, we see Bob, which is the Sentry. Now, I don't know who Sentry really is in the comics. I'm not familiar with him. Because I, I just haven't read much of his comics. Now, I think his name is Bob Reynolds. But I know that he was uh, experimented upon and tested upon it. And uh, after so many experiments, you know, he becomes this like like Superman almost type in the MCU or in the Marvel comics. Um, I don't know how powerful he's going to be in this movie. I don't even know if he's going to get his powers until like the very end. I don't know what his plans are for him. But he shows up. He's like, hey guys, don't shoot, blah, blah, blah. And then Yelena's like, why are you here? Who are you? He's like, you guys been set up. So all the doors around them are closing. And we see some shots of um, Val, who was in Wakanda Forever, and uh, Hawkeye. And uh, I don't know, I don't remember if she was in some other project. Uh, maybe Black Widow. But she, but we see shots of her and Bucky. And they don't really do anything, we just see Bucky here and there, and then the one shot from the trailer at the very end, when they're walking in the room and Yelena's like, Look at you guys, a team! How cute! But... Um, I'm excited to see this movie. I am... Well, I wasn't at first, but after this trailer, you know, it kind of convinced me a little bit. Cause I, cause like I, cause like I said again, I don't know, I don't know shit about the Thunderbolts. I think by the end of the movie, they might call themselves the Dark Avengers because I do know that there's an asterisk at the end and Kevin Faggy has made comments saying that the, that the asterisk is important and will be addressed when the movie comes out. So, so I do think that the title is actually going to be Dark Avengers. Oh, okay. <clears throat> you know what I mean, like the team. That their team is going to be called Thunder, uh, Dark Avengers. 
and um and this is, that was my portion of talking about the trailer now this is what I think will happen in the trailer so they hate each other at first they fight for a little bit the whole the whole first half is them just bickering trying to learn how to be a team um what's his name red guardian it makes jokes here and there's ha 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 Delino, i poop my pants ha 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 okay and then what else happens um they fight they they kind of learn to be a team kind of like the guardians of the galaxy how they still have like like attacks i it, they attack each other with words and stuff and then what happens is that Bob comes in. He's like, "Hey guys, I'm Bob. Y'all now, y'all don't know who I am, but you will, you will, you will real soon." And then, man, I don't really know. Um, I guess at the end, it, he becomes Sentry, and they fight. And I, I don't think the. I think. I think what's gonna happen is that they're gonna pull another, another vision, like at the end of Wonder Vision, like um, Val turns out to be the real bad guy or something, right? And then the Thunderbolts like go after her. They try to fight her, but then Bob steps in and like he's being mind controlled by Val, and then eventually I guess the Thunderbolts try to like turn him good using their words, cause like. What are the Thunderbolts gonna do? They have guns, and then like this this guy has like Superman powers, and I guess uh, maybe he like convinces himself that he can be better or like something else instead of a tool, and then he like flies away. Who knows when we see him again? Now I don't know if that's gonna happen. That's just my guess for the, how the movie ends, but I'm really curious on what what the ending is going to be and how this is going to affect the larger MCU because I think after this movie we have uh, Captain America Brave New World and it oh wait no uh no after this movie we're gonna have Fantastic Four so we'll see how that movie turns out like I said I don't know how Thunderbolts is gonna like I don't like I don't even know if they're gonna appear in Secret Wars, honestly, or like Doomsday, cause like cause like the whole theme of like the movie is that these characters feel like unimportant, not interesting, and to some extent they're to some extent they're right, cause like honestly, who's rooting, who who's like cr begging to see this version of Taskmaster again, or oh, Ghost, maybe. Maybe Yelena, maybe Red Guardian, maybe um, Bucky. Well, no, definitely Bucky. But I don't know if Bucky's gonna be like a main player in the team. But but then again, how do you fumble the Thunderbolts without Baron Zemo or Abomination? You have Abomination right there, and I know that in She-Hulk, she didn't want to fight anymore. But just give him a good motivation. And that's it, you know? Same with Baron Zemo. Baron Zemo is such a cool character in the comics. Why do you have him wasted on all these like small roles? Except like he was on he was only a big threat in Civil War, and then he was never used again after that, except for like jokes in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Jesus, I'm going on a rant now. But it's like, come on, like you have the comic you have all these characters that you can use that are from the comics and like that could be interesting. Eh? You could have had Abomination, like try to fight Sentry or something but we just have like all these regular people and it's like I, I get that's the theme and like but like they're they're true like they, they they are true like what are these like these characters in the grand scale of the MCU they're like smaller more down to earth like are they gonna even ab appear in Doomsday now like I understand like this could be like a solo movie like this, this wouldn't even have to tie into the MCU and it does, but like I guess it could be like a like um like um like a just like a like a movie to have fun, you know, like because like there's there's like projects in the MCU that could be like one and done, like just for funsies, like Werewolf by Night, even 
even even like the first Ant-Man movie. But anyways, I'm going off a tangent. I'm just um I I just don't I just really hope the movie does well. I I hope it's a good movie. You know, I don't want to go and see it and like like waste my two and a half hours of however long the movie's going to be. But I'm I'm sure it'll be good. I'm sure they're cooking. I, I'm still mildly optimistic about Fantastic Four. No, well, no, I'm actually really excited for Fantastic Four. I meant to say Captain America: Brave New World, but um, this again, I'm just like ranting and shit. Anyways, you guys have a good night. I'll be here. Let me know what you guys think about the Thunderbolts and the new footage and what you guys expect. But if anything, uh, subs uh, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Uh, let's uh, like uh, any support is appreciated. I I thank you guys for the Incredibles video. That video did really good. But other than that, peace out, guys. You have a good night. See ya.